Steve, thanks for coming on today, brother. I love having you on. Uh, I want to talk. You got a you got a big project in the works, and I want to hear about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, very excited to talk about it, and very excited to get to chat with you, Zolo. As you should be. Zolo sounds like a Star Wars villain. I think it sounds like a Star Wars good guy, Han Zolo, Don oh. Zolo. Uh, yeah, I, I maybe that's why I thought, yeah, Solo. So you got yeah. your first uh, feature-length film coming out. Congratulations, man. Uh, I'd love to hear about who's in it. Who's in it? Okay. Um, uh, okay, well, they're at any comedy show, there's an MC feature and a headliner. So our film is about one weekend, uh, a comic's first time on the road, and it's Jimmy O. Yang from Crazy Rich Asians, Silicon Valley, Space Force. He's the MC. Alex Moffat from SNL plays the feature act, and then Cedric the Entertainer plays the headliner. And then it's Whitney Cummings, Eliza Schlesinger, Kathleen Madigan, Angela Jesus. Johnson, Debbie Ryan, Bill Burr, Ken Jeong, Tom Segura, Neil Brennan, Roy Wood Jr., Felipe Esparza. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know I'm missing some. Russell Peters. Uh, there's a ton of comics in this, and then you're gonna see you're gonna see comics that you know throughout the course as well. That just you know uh, that aren't as big as names as like Segura, but there, there's a ton of them in here. That's crazy. Like you're like, oh, and Russell Peters, like oh, a guy that sells out Madison Square Garden. Oh, he's in it too. You know what I mean? It's it's. I saw the list of names that were in this movie, and I was absolutely blown away with it. Uh, the talent in it is it's off the charts. Well, the bad news is everybody's in it except for you and me, and I wrote <laughs> the damn thing. So, uh, but it, it, it's it's pretty crazy because I didn't have to do much directing because the comics knew the entirety of what they might experience in a weekend. So, you know, for example, when I asked Russell, Eliza Schlesinger and Brooks Whelan to be the radio hosts, I didn't really oh. have to direct them. I'm like, you guys have been here. You've been to a shitty radio show to promote the shows. So I think you have a pretty good grasp on it. They're like, oh yeah, we got this. Like all oh, of them. Completely. I never even thought about it. It's kind of like uh, directing Eminem in uh, 8 Mile. It's like here, uh, be yourself or exactly, be around these yeah. people that you've seen <laughs> 5,000 times. I never even thought about that. Like, even if they're playing the radio people, I mean, they've done radio hundreds of times. They know what it's about. So like, that must've been super easy for you. And then as far as directing them as comedians, the ones that are on stage, I gotta think that's like, hands off, just do your thing. Yeah, uh, the only stand-up I wrote was Jimmy's last set on Sunday when he kind of goes for broke. Otherwise, his stand-up's in it, Alex's stand-up's in it, and Cedric, I think, was just making shit up on the fly that was like, it's a pretty good bit. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I'm just talking. I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. I love the idea of the movie. Um, I think that it's something that'll translate outside of comedy, but being a comedian, when I heard about what the idea of the movie is, it's the first weekend that the opening act, the MC, is going to do at a professional comedy club, and he's going on the road, and that's a special moment. And it, you know, it transcends money. Whatever they give you for money, you don't even care. You're just like, oh my God, I'm a professional comedian, and they're putting me up in a hotel. And then, you know, if you have a headliner that's good to you, he'll take you out for dinner, and then you learn from these guys, and then, you know, hopefully there's some drinking and some crazy times, and it's just. It, it's it's more exciting than anything else. And I was like, what a great idea for a movie. You basically just described the whole film, so you don't need me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, it, it really is, it, it's about that moment in time when every comic has their safe job and then they pivot to their dream. And this is that moment for Jimmy O. Yang's character, Will, um, where he is, he's working, you know, in insurance, he works in a cubicle, he, at night he goes and does open mics, and then he gets the opportunity of a lifetime, and he just decides to go for broken all in. And it's all those things, it's the condo, it's the light, it's morning radio, it's the partying at night, it's the ramifications of partying at night. And all those things come in full circle for him. And yeah, it, it, it really, I think, the one, I, I've gotten text messages from the cast members that have seen it. So Segura, Neil Brennan, Bill Burr, even Cedric and Jimmy, when we watched it together, um, the guys say three things. They go, I love it, it's so authentic, and I have to go see my therapist because it brought up all the bad memories that I finally got over from the beginning <laughs> of my career. 
<laughs> so they say something to the effect of those three things, and that made me so happy. The first comic to see it was Jimmy and Cedric, and Debbie Ryan was there. We did like an outdoor screening, and as soon as the film ended, I was kind of in the back, and I. I saw Cedric's wife say something really sweet to him, and I saw he just turned around and looked at me. He goes, he goes, you got it, you did it. Now oh. everybody's going to know what we go through. Now everybody's going to know what it's like. And I was like, fuck, oh, that's okay. We're up to the races. Where can we find this, Steve? Um, you can find. Well, it's going to be in theaters October sixteenth. If you live in a red state, um, or streaming VOD, so you can get it on iTunes, Amazon. You can pre-order it right now. But Friday, October 16th is the day it's available. And I'm so excited for people to see this. I, I, I think like, especially young comedians, I think if anybody's looking to start off or is starting off, um, this is the blueprint for the beginning of your career. It really is all just every question you have will be answered in this film. All right. Well, thanks, brother. Uh, I can't wait to check out the movie. I'm going to watch it this week and uh, I'll be sure to let you know my thoughts on it. So uh, thanks for coming on, man. You got it, buddy. Thanks so much. And good luck to you on your film. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm doing some kind of podcast of yours next year at this time talking about my film that's coming out. That's a, that's a deal, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. You got it.